Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am done filming again back to back. I just filmed what I melted for the second half of March 2019. And now I'm coming to you with all my empties of March 2019. So of course I'm still in my pajamas. I still feel like crap. Still trying to get over being sick. <clears throat> so my apologies for my manly, manly voice. So as per usual, now I will say I got back on track with melting. February I was away a bit, so I couldn't melt too much. March was definitely a melting month. April will be less so because I'm away for like half the month on um, various trips um, all around. So I will likely have less next month, but then more I'll pick up in May and so on and so forth. So as I always mention before I start this, um, there are items here that are already on my playlist for specific reviews, whether it's an old throwback Thursday or it's a particular brand. Um, I do try to throw reviews up. I have so many playlists available on my channel under playlists, so please feel free to go and ch check that out. So with that said, we're going to dive into some candles. I am going to open this one again. I'm sorry, it's going to take some more time. I should have done that while I was talking. That was silly of me. But this is a candle company that I know that I've talked about many, many times. It was raved about for so long here on YouTube. Um, this particular brand, Aquis, was the phenom of candles at one point about three years ago. Everybody and anybody who was a candle reviewer or lover was trying to find these things. This is my absolute last one. And sadly, this is probably one of my favorite ones of this whole line. And to having it's gone now and but if I find this again I would absolutely repurchase this in a heartbeat this is the from the portfolio collection from Aquis number 25 and it's called sandalwood vanilla and it's white flower creamy vanilla sandalwood and musk just to show you guys look how little like wax is left there it burns clearly to the bottom it's absolutely stunning it smelled amazing i never did get like a huge throw from this brand before like not all the scents and i have quite a few on the playlist threw very well but this one in particular it smells and throws amazingly another one i have to open up peck sniffs limited edition from oh sorry from england pine and clove oh sorry my camera's now on i I didn't realize it until I started pressing play that my cam, my little camera's on this side versus that side. So I'm so backwards to what I'm used to doing. Anyway, uh, Peck Sniffs England, limited edition, pine and clove. Eh, this was on my throwback Thursday for the winter collection, many uh, two winters in a row, maybe even three. And it never got picked. So I'm like, no, I'm going to go through my stash. I'm going to go through this and burn it. And it was okay. It just didn't have much of a scent. I literally had to like sit over it and huff it you know risk singeing your nose hairs and things but um i see this brand a lot in my winners and my home scent stores not just for candles but for soap and because of the and i, I like my bath and body works foaming hand soap so i don't really buy soap from anywhere else but i don't know has anyone tried the soaps from peck sniffs because i do see that a lot in the discount stores and let me know in the, the comments down below like what you guys think because um i wouldn't tr mind trying it I probably wouldn't recommend, sorry, wouldn't recommend this brand and candle um, just because it threw like nothing at all. So this, however, oh, again, I've got to switch it over. This, however, did so well. This is lavender vanilla from Bath and Body Works. As you can see, I'm burning a lavender vanilla three wick over here. This was a single wick. Um, this is beautiful. Just had the little tag here. Um, burnt beautifully. It is one of my favorite scents. The color of this jar is magnificent. Um, repurpose it for like makeup sorry um makeup brushes or whatever's it's beautiful um lip glosses like buxom lip glosses are a little bit taller i like to putting them in these kinds of jars and flipping it upside down so you know the color names on top that kind of thing so this is a jar that you could definitely repurchase and i would definitely repurchase lavender vanilla and you can see i'm burning my last lavender vanilla that i have in my stock my collection right there a uh, bit of a disappointment campfire donut oh again oh, i gotta remember to come to the side a bit of a disappointment because this, um, well, puny wicked on me and the scent just went nasty. And the fact that it's a bakery scent go nasty is even double nasty. So although it didn't, it did not, um, <clears throat> soot or anything like that, it puny wicked on me and the scent alone on a very sweet, already sweet candle and add the burnt notes to it. Ugh, it was gross. I had to put it out. And as you can see, actually it was on this side. You can see right here 
where it started doing that to me. You can sort of tell by the burn right here. I gave it a few fair shots afterwards. I'm not a cotton baller. This is not my style. I'm not gonna waste my time on it because I've tried that cotton ball technique and at least the, the ones I've tried with my candles, it just continues to cotton. Like it continues to um, puny wick on me. So therefore I'm just like, it's just too much work and candles are supposed to be fun, not work. So, all right. Ooh, I got it right this time. I'm on this side. Baja Cactus Blossom Candle Three Wick from Bath & Byricks. This surprised me. I know I've reviewed this before. This is from a collection a few years ago, as you can sort of tell by the packaging. Um, I did not like it the first time I burnt it. I do remember that. It wasn't my favorite. I will say, though, I think my scent has changed. My scent preference on this has changed. And I, I burnt this in the right place. I burnt this in my bathroom, which was more of like a very fresh... That's where I burn my lavender vanilla candles, things like that. So I'm really burning like I really enjoyed this one in my bathroom and it burnt so very well very very little sitting there's a little bit there as you can see right here um but otherwise and a little bit on this side here it did really well so would i recommend this uh, yeah sure if i if were coming in the store again i would likely purchase this to chop up so i could have it for my bathroom scents for a lot longer of a time so that being said i would repurchase but not to burn i would likely do that to melt that's just my style. All right. <clears throat> Some Glade Frosting with Love. Oops. <laughs> Frosting with Love and Candy Sparkling Joy. These are from Christmas 2017 that I'm finally getting through. These are wax melts. I'm really trying to melt and burn what's in my stash and not go out and buy the latest, the greatest, blah, 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 blah. So that's just me um, and my preference. So anyway, um, this one is disappointing. This is the Frosting with Love Vanilla Sugar Icing. It was very mild, whereas this one I would absolutely purchase as again, Candy Sparkling Joy, which is red berries, pomegranate, and sugar. Um, this was way stronger than this one. Now this is 2017. If you find it in your Walmart, um, in the Glade aisle or where Glade is sold, it should be super cheap because that is an old melt because like I said, there's a whole new collection that came out in 2018, which is also in my stash of things to melt. But anyway, so there you go. <laughs> Mandala melts coughing or coughing. Ugh, wrong side. I've been doing the other side of the camera for so long. Like I just mentally just go to the wrong spot. Coughing or coughing, which is uh, blackberry, strawberry, apricot, lemon curd, and marshmallow. This was nice. Lemon. Um, I love lemon curd. That was the standout scent of these two. Um, I was coming up to the one year mark in May 2018, as it is the very end of March right now when I melted this. So I really did like this, and I'm hoping Manella melts. Um, I, she's a student now, so I think that her final exams should be coming up, and maybe we might see a restock. And a Canadian company too, which is awesome. All right, so for Mainstays Cranberry Mandarin Wax Cubes, this was really great. I There's nothing to write home about. Um, actually, let me see. Sorry, excuse my nose. So this is Cranberry Mandarin Wax Cubes, and this is Cranberry Mandarin Splash from Better Homes and Gardens. Virtually the same. Now, I've said this before, Better Homes and Gardens, Sensationals, Mainstays perhaps, in the summer and in the winter, it would be in your best interest to pop in like a blend with a soda pop or a fizzy note with these. And this would be a scent that I would say that a fizzy note would do, would be very beneficial to them. It's very, you know, even though it's cranberry, so it's like mostly wintertime type scents, but lots of wintertime, you go to a house party or a Christmas holiday gathering and um, there's like a punch bowl that's non-alcoholic and it might have some Sprite or 7-Up in it with some cranberry, some mandarin slices, just like it shows on both of these packagings. And then, but again, the 7-Up or the Sprite would be the fizzy pop and, you know, it's good for kids and all that stuff. So I think it would be in their better interest. They smell virtually the same, but you get more product, obviously, for the better homes and gardens than you do the mainstays. I, do, I would repurchase this. I love anything cranberry. But if I were to make a suggestion to any of the Walmart carrying vendor brands would be in the summertime and again in the winter months when you put a winter collection out a fizzy note in a, or two in a collection would go well like a lavender fizzy and a cranberry fizzy I think would do really well but anyway these are both very good I would definitely purchase both of these but I will no not quite at the better homes again oh I, well, I can start now I guess <coughs> sorry um, let's see here. Let's start on the bottom now. I did go through quite a few better homes and gardens because a lot of these I've had in my collection for quite some time. Beautiful bathroom melt. Rosemary and spearmint. Very spa-like. 
that's where I melted this exclusively was in my bathroom really enjoyed it um but as I said in my what I melted for the first half of March or sorry the second half of March um I said that if I could get my if I had lots of super tarts I probably wouldn't just go out and buy this but in a pinch if I run out of my super tarts either Omen or Jaws blends which I typically use in my bathroom I would definitely go to Walmart and get this one Rosemary and Spearmint and it is in Canadian Walmart now but we're like six months behind so as per usual we're always behind in everything all right Orange butter, orange butter cream cupcake, Fruit Loops, Fruit Loops, Fruit Loops. That's all I got. I'm not a big Fruit Loops fan. I know lots of people love it. I know there was someone who made a comment. I'm a behind in, in replying to my comments. I know that there was a comment made that uh, there was a lady that really loved this, and I totally, please don't. And I know that didn't take offense to it at all, but um, that I, I actually, I know that there's lots of people who love certain things. I don't. I'm just not a Fruit Loops or a cereal person per se. Um, and it's generally cereal in any vendor means Fruit Loops. I don't know of too many other cereal names that um, would be any other, like Frosted Flakes maybe, but anyway, this seems to go when it talks, when any vendor is talking about cereal, they're normally talking about Fruit Loops. So um, I'm okay for not purchasing this again, but it was really great. And again, in the States, $2 for an entire clam. It's very strong. You could probably use one cube at a time. And there you go. I, I think that's great. Oh, a repurchase, 100%. I don't know if in Canada we have these yet. I haven't been to Walmart in a little bit. But if we do, I would definitely buy multiples. But I am going to Texas and hoping to find some more uh, rainy spring day. This is a beautiful melt. Not quite spa-like like the um, the spearmint and rosemary, but more of like a white gardenia flower floral hint to a nice aquatic green scent i'm not much for florals but i do like white flower floral scents and i'm not discriminatory for any other color flowers but i do tend to like the scent of white flowers more like gardenias um are one of my favorites so anyway hands down would repurchase this hope to find these you know when i go to texas ramona already did a little um uh like Sherlock Holmes and she went to her Walmart and she's she's like yeah they're stocked right now so I'm like I hope they're still stocked in a week because <laughs> it's just about a week out I'm filming this actually on the 31st of March marshmallow candy cane received this from um, friends in the states love this one it's great on its own it's great as a blender I have one more left I will likely try to hold on to this until Christmas as I said it's very nice it's very strong so candy cane would be um, like a vanilla peppermint and then the marshmallow is beautiful this is a repurchase and a love for my bedroom pink sugar berry uh hands down just one of my favorites just that picture alone just like i want a raspberry rolled in sugar like right now especially when i'm sick oh that would be so good i think i've got this down i'm trying to put it in my right hand instead of my left hand so it goes to the right part of the screen okay ice winter cranberry love this one I love, like I've mentioned in the other previous video, I love Bath & Body Works um, Frosted, uh, Frosted Cranberry and Cranberry Woods. This is most closely related to Frosted Cranberry. But this would be another one of those ones where you could do on its own, just like just like it was, which I absolutely love. I would hoard this one. I would probably get a whole sleeve in this because I love cranberry. But then again, Better Homes and Garden Sensationals, please throw in something festive for the new year, for the holiday season. Um, with a little fizzy note. I don't think it's that hard, but I, I've yet to smell a Better Homes and Gardens or Sensational Scent or Mainstays that has a real true fizzy note behind the actual scent. So just a suggestion. Don't think anyone's watching, but love this one. Would, whoops, would absolutely hoard this one if I could. I would definitely, well, it's old. It's from winter, so I probably won't find that in Walmart. This is the pumpkin berry tart. This is okay. Nothing to write home about. Mm -mm -mm. It was fine. I'm not. It wasn't like super thrilled. Um, okay, let's do sensational. Let's keep on the theme of Walmart. Ocean Tides. Love this one. Love this one. I would hands down buy probably a sleeve of this. And I did find this in my Canadian Walmart, which is amazing because like I said, our Canadian Walmarts are a disgrace when it comes to restocking their wax melts. I remember two years ago, I could go into Walmart and there was a whole aisle of wax melts. And now they've literally got it to like a quarter of an aisle. And even still, it's just a bunch of repeats of the same scent, like back to back to back. 
Anyway, 100% would repurchase this. Absolutely love that one. Not to repurchase, surprisingly, because I love this on cold, was black raspberry vanilla. Loved it. It smelled like black raspberry yogurt, like a, like a vanilla yogurt, like a, maybe a Greek yogurt with a blackberry in it. And I love blackberries. I pick blackberries every summer out of my yard. Anyway, love it. But um, unfortunately, this did not give me anything except for a stained um, wax melter, like the, the dish. It's stained and it's one of those ones that I know Sensationals has had in the past because I've had them. As well as Better Homes and Gardens, there are some, especially the dark colored wax, which this was, that do give an, a gooiness. Because I do a freezer method. I let my melts, I turn the melters off and then when they harden, I'll just take them to freezer for up to like, you don't even have to put them in that long, like 10 minutes and boom, pop it out and it's done. Well, when I popped this out and it was done, there was an ooey gooey sticky black grossness on the bottom of the melt itself, which also left that same bit on the bottom of my melt on my dish, my warmer dish. So, um, because I never even really got much of a throw on this, um, I, I love blackberry, but I didn't feel like I got a lot of blackberry from this. I would not recommend, nor would I repurchase this myself. I was um, really disappointed because that's right up my alley on cold. It smells amazing. Laundry basket, I know Sasha from Sasha Isms, this is one of her favorites, is truly a great laundry scent. And you guys, from Walmart for $2 in the States anyway. For us, it's like almost, what is it, almost $400 or something like that a piece. It's ridiculous. But anyway, um, this is great. Fantastic. And really, one cube at a time works absolute wonders. So this will go a long way. So if you like a laundry scents or fresh scents, I would definitely recommend that. A Canadian melt that I have melted before, I believe. Egyptian cotton. This is what I would say that I've smelt many other, and I've said this before. This is very similar to um, cashmere, as I seem to, to smell it in vendor wax. This is Sensational's version of a cashmere, even though it says Egyptian cotton. That's what I get from it. So um, it's very strong. I melted this in my bedroom. It was nice and relaxing. Tea time, which I don't know if this is still in stock. This is a USA only melt. Um, my friend Ramona sent this to me. I know that Heather sent me some as well. I don't know if this is still out. I know that there was talk about it not being found on shelves. So let's hope it comes back on the shelves in the States because um, it is quite lovely. It is truly just a nice black tea with a tiny little bit of lemon, just a tiny bit, not a lot, but it's lovely. I melted this in my morning when I was home, sort of like I would a uh, coffee scent, but rather it was tea. So quite enjoy that. Oh, I almost lost you guys. <laughs> okay, <Whew. laughs> sorry about that daydream. Lush Greens. Um, this was good. It was good. Um, I don't know if I would repurchase this one as much as I would repurchase like the Ocean Tides or um, there was another one I just talked about too. Outdoorsy Spring Rain or something. Those two I would purchase before repurchasing this one, but it was really nice. Very strong. Melted that exclusively in my bathroom. Again, this is very nice, especially if you like, like the, it is more of a floral scent. It says Lush Greens. I would definitely say it was more of a floral scent, um, but it was very strong. Again, one of those sensational ones at one cube at a time, say in a smaller space like a bathroom, would be all you need. Meh, sugar cookie dough. Found this in Canada finally, because again, we're so behind in getting stuff. Nothing to write home about. I didn't really care so much about this one. I don't know what to say, but no thank you. This one, however, I have been holding onto this one for so long, Pink Velvet. I don't even think they have this in a Canadian Walmart anymore. So Sensationals, Pink Velvet, I got in, there's, I didn't even, it's so old. I used to, I'm really good at writing the dates. So that's how old this is because it was before I really started doing the dates on the backs of these. Anyway, long story short, love this one. Melted this exclusively in my bedroom. It's beautiful and I would repurchase it if I could find it, but I haven't seen it in my Walmart lately. <coughs> Pardon me. All right. As I mentioned time and time again, and earlier on when I mentioned that Better Homes and Gardens, a Spearmint and Rosemary, my favorite bathroom melts and scents come from Super Tarts. I have probably the most from Super Tarts in that genre that I would place in my bathroom type scents, melts. 
And this is one of them I completely went through. And Super Tarts is less is more, one cube. You could probably get two days out of it. Yes, they're a more expensive brand, $4.25 American a piece. But because you could probably melt one cube for two days or more, definitely worth your while. Now, because I have so many melts, I only melt this once, like one day or one evening in the bathroom. This is an exclusive bathroom one because this is a Jaws blend. This is strawberry jam and Jaws. This is fabulous. And so that is sea salt, fresh air, sea grass, sliced plum, and sweet pear with strawberry jam. Beautiful. Love it. Um, like I said, Super Tarts is my probably my favorite vendor for bathroom scents. Silver Surfer, another great one. This is the Omen blended with Jaws, which normally Omen blends. The Omen stands out in that. Or the Jaws blends. The Jaws set stands out in that blend. This one was a complete 50-50. I've said that before. Fantastic. Love this one in my bathroom. Again, beautiful. And another one you can see in a month. I went through three clams, one cube a piece, <laughs> one cube per time. Um, you know how much I love super tarts for my bathroom. So we got blown up, which is lemon curd and jaws. And this is one my boyfriend um, really loved. And he's like, it smells like a fancy hotel I stayed in in Europe somewhere at one point on his travels as he's a submariner uh, for the Canadian Navy. And yeah, so when they are, you know, docked <laughs> after being underwater for like a month or two at a time um they can come up and you know go and stay in some civilized areas so he said this smelt just like um yeah just like a fancy hotel i was in so there you go i like it too and that is a repurchase for me i i've already talked about this it has its own playlist so again i'm not going to go into individual um, reviews, but if you want to see the playlist for Bon Bon Candle Boutique, which is a Canadian company, it's on a playlist on my channel. So we have Marshmallow uh, Marshmallow Fireside, Lucky Lemon Loops, Fry Chardonnay, I still love that name, so I think it's great, um, Chai Latte, Peony Blush Suede, Christmas by the beach, sorry. And lastly, I think it's kickin sugar, sorry, kickin sugar cookie. <coughs> sorry guys. All right, then they're great. They're Canadian brand, that is brand new to me. Um, she, yeah, you can find her on Etsy um, for the Bon Bon Candle Boutique. Winter Mermaid, one of my absolute favorites from Rose Girls, which is Peppermint Shaving Cream and Gilligan's Brew. Love this to death. I even since have purchased um, mini melters of all those scents to when I got through this to melt on my own if I wanted to. One of my favorite scents from Rose Girls. Tallulah and Poe, Butterfly Kisses. Love Spell, which is a Victoria's Secret type and cotton candy. This is lovely. And I know a lot of vendors are doing this, but it is, I love Love Spell with Love Spell with Cotton Candy, Love Spell with Lemon. Like, there's just, there's so many great blends that Love Spell can be a part of. I love it. I love Love Spell. I know that um, Lindsay Love loves it too, because <laughs> we are both, like, lovers of the Love Spell. I still say, to me, Hayden Rowe makes the best Love Spell blend myself. All right, and then we have from Sugar and Spice Gourmet Soy Candles, we have Celtic Moon Spice. Celtic Moon Spice is introduced to me by watching Ramona Talk. And Ramona... Um, on her, her channel, she's she buys us from uh, Destination Wax and things like that too. Many vendors do Celtic Moon Spice. Fortunately, um, unfortunately, Sugar and Spice Gourmet Soy Candle Company has not been uh, producing for quite some time. Um, I don't even know if they're going to be opening ever again. But that's you know, not none of my business. But she does make great wax melts. And again, I've decided I'm not hoarding her melts just because. She hasn't opened. I'm melting what I have and doing the best that I can. So there you go. I love this. Less is more with, with this brand. It's beautiful. I would definitely recommend that. All right. So last but not least, we have Rainbow Melts. We have Blackberry Jam Butter Cookies and Sugar Cookies. Really like this. It was an actual cookie. And I know my Instagram like a year and a bit ago. I think it was January 2018. I did a photo and I put all the cookie melts on a, a wire rack as if you were cooling cookies. It was probably one of my favorite photos. Anyway, they're huge. These melts were huge. Um, Like seriously huge melts. You could probably get eight melts out of this easily because you don't need a lot. Rainbow Melts, less is more just like Super Tarts. This was fantastic, really enjoyed that one. Now, 
With that said, I enjoyed this one here, strawberry crunch sugar cookies, but I didn't enjoy it as much as that blackberry butter cookies. I found that this was like, mm, I mean, I wanted more strawberry, I guess. I don't know why, but anyway, I really, I liked it, but I would, if I were to repurchase either of those, it would be the first one I showed you. I smell snow, fluffy marshmallow and icy peppermint. Oh, beautiful, love it, strong. Like I've had it for a while. This is, she made this November 4th, 2017. Again, I'm trying to not hoard anything. I'm trying to melt what I have. That's why I chose it. Otherwise it'd probably still be in my basket going, mm, I'll just wait. But her wax melts last a long time. Um, they don't fade on me, at least they have not. Very, very few of rainbow melts and or super tarts, for example, ever are less than um, eight and a half or nine out of 10 for a throw for me, regardless of how old it is. Cause I was gifted some stuff when I first started melting versus burning. And some of those things, you know, I held on to cause I, you know, I was just starting to get into wax melting and they were amazing. Ben and breakfast espresso or ca cafe espresso and caramel and hot orange Danish. I like this one more than I liked cool beans. Cool beans was too sweet for me. Um, but I do understand that Cool Beans is way more popular, I think, at least on her Facebook page. It seems to be that um, that is definitely a, the scent that everyone like wants to do customs on. So it's just me and my nose. So Cool Beans is iced coffee and whipped whipped marshmallow and caramel drizzle. So between the two, Ben Breakfast was my favorite. And those are from her coffee sampler, which I love. And so is this. This is I Love You A Latte. Again, love the name. Caramel, latte, peppermint, and marshmallow. This was okay. I got more caramel than I did anything else. I wanted more coffee. That's the only complaint I have for this is that in a coffee sampler, I want, personally, this is only me, but when I get a coffee sampler, I want the coffee to stand out first with the other things coming in behind it. And now I love rainbow melts and I loved her coffee sampler. And I pretty much burnt through my first of all of them because I bought two coffee samplers because I knew I'd love her stuff, um, her coffee. So, but if I were to give uh, my own two cents, I would say put more coffee into it with the hint, because peppermint can take over. Absolutely. And so can caramel. Um, but anyway, with that said, I still love this and I really enjoyed um, melting it. It's just, I want one more coffee. And last but not least, we have Elf Breakfast, which is Cat'n Crush cereals and maple pancakes, which I was not a fan of because I don't like maple in my in my my melts. I find it's just too sweet, which I know is ironic. I live in Canada. Maple, everyone thinks that we Canadians are maple, maple, maple. Now, I love maple syrup on my pancakes, waffles, French toast, by the way. I make a killer French toast, by the way. Um, but... In my wax melts, it's just too ooey gooey. It reminds me, and like it, I guess it's almost, it's almost on the border of burnt sugar, and I don't like that. But with that said, this was a sample. This wasn't even part of her. I don't believe it. No, this was her advent calendar. That's right. It was her advent calendar. You can tell by the little Christmas, oh, by the little Christmas tree. I would not repurchase Elf Breakfast myself because of the maple, maple, and then pancakes. But maple, really, but. Anyone who is like a real sweet tooth would absolutely enjoy this. All right, you guys, that is all my empties for the month of March 2019. Oh, my God. All right, you guys, as always, be safe, take care, and have fun. Bye, guys.